Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do inequalities. Now you had done inequalities in grade 10. If you're not familiar with your inequalities, I advise you to go over that work first. Now inequalities is very similar to solve for x, but instead of an equal to sign, we have an inequality sign. Now the inequality signs are as follows. It's what you call greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to. Now when you're doing an inequality, first of all, you're going to solve it exactly as you had done trinomials. So solve standard like a trinomial. You get the equation equal to zero by moving it plus or minus. When I mean plus or minus, I mean you take over the plus, uh, plus six, you make it minus six, you take over the minus. You don't divide or multiply. When you dividing or multiplying, then your inequality sign must change. Your inequality sign must change. So in other words, if I've got minus 3x is equal to 9 and I divide by a negative 3, then I'm going to have x is less than 9 over negative 3 means x is less than negative 3. So can you see how my inequality sign changed? Okay, so let's do the following. x squared plus 5x plus 6, very common trinomial, but when you're doing the answer, this is not an answer. x is equal to minus 2, x is equal to minus 3, those are not answers, okay? They are not accepted and you will just be marked down. So don't do that, okay? Now, how do you decide which answer to work with? When you think of it, you need to know, okay, if it's a positive, it's going to be a smiley face. If it's a negative, it's going to be a sad face. You know that from your parabola graphs in grade 10. Now this is a po positive parabola. So I'm going to have a smiley face and these points, the minus 2 and the minus 3, are actually your x points. Now we know minus 3 is smaller than minus 2. Now do you notice, I'm not worried that my Cartesian plane is wrong. But if that troubles you, and you want to draw it correctly, then let's draw your Cartesian plane, let's draw it like that. So we know this is minus 3 and this is minus 2. But what is it telling us? It is telling us that the y, this refers to y, the y part. The y part is less than 0. So which means I'm working with the underneath of it. Can you see, isn't that y is negative there? Do you notice x is still positive here? x is negative here, but I'm interested in the y being negative. Now where is the y negative? You can see which part of the graph is. So, what's my answer? What's my answer? Negative 3 to minus 2. Now, why am I writing it as one bracket? Because it's one straight line. Can you see? I'm not lifting up my pen. I'm going from one point to another. Let's try another one. If I give you the same thing, x squared plus 5x plus 6, but I'm making it greater or equal to 0. Right? Then I've got x plus 2, x plus 3 is greater or equal to 0. So you know I'm going to work with minus 2 and minus 3. I got my graph. I got my minus 3 and I've got my minus 2. But where is y? This refers to y. So where is the y positive? Look, all the stop part, y is positive. So what is my answer? Now this is where you need to be careful. Can you see my answer is this line and then it is this line. But they are not touching each other which means I have two separate answers. Now how do I decide what is my answer? This is minus 3 and it's going negative infinity. Can you see it's going till forever that side. And this one is going till forever on this side. Now this forever is negative infinity. The one on your left hand side is negative infinity and it's going till 3.
and infinity is always a round bracket. Then I'm going from here, minus 2 till infinity. Now, you see this answer here that I wrote. This one should have been a square bracket because the question is underlined. So that is incorrect. Remember from your previous work, from your previous work you know that if it's greater or equal to, I got square brackets, but if it's just greater than or less than, then it's round brackets. Okay? And infinity are always round brackets. So be careful because that's careless and it's easy marks to lose. Okay? Look at the question and then you'd be okay. If it is greater than or less than, then it is round brackets. But as soon as I put the equal to under, it becomes square brackets. Now look at our answer. Negative infinity to negative 3 and then negative 2 to infinity. Now why didn't I write here infinity then minus 2? When you're reading on your number line, we read from our left hand side to our right hand side. And if you see on the left hand side first infin negative infinity, then negative 3. Then first negative 2 before infinity. Okay, let's try one more example. You see, when you have a negative, many children choose to move this over. Even I prefer working with positive trinomials. Or what they do is they say, hey, you know what? Let's say we move it over. Now I'm physically moving it over. So I leave my sign. I move it over. It becomes positive 4 x squared minus x minus 5. And I have my 0 the side. Now that was physically moving it over. But some children choose to just times this entire thing by negative. Because they know if it's equal to 0, I can just change my signs. But when you just change your signs in inequalities, then the rule is you have to just change the inequality sign also. So look, whether you do it this way, where you bring it over, and then you end up with positive x squared minus x minus 5. But look, it is greater than 0. And this way also it is greater than 0. But notice, I changed my sign. When I simply change the signs of the numbers, I also change the sign of my inequality. Now we factorize. So we have 4x minus 5 and we have x plus 1 is greater and equal, greater than, just simply greater than, no equal to 0. Right. If you're doing it this way, it's simply the 0 is this side, but again the big mouth the greater than is always by the, in this question, the greater than is by the f of x, as you would say, or the y, okay? Now, you don't solve, but you do need the x value. So if you say 4x is equal to minus 5, and x is equal to minus 5 over 4, and this one you say x is equal to minus 1, that's fine if you're using it to get your answers for your drawing. But that is not your final answer. Now again, we have a drawing, a Cartesian plane. We have negative 5 over 4 and we have negative 1. Now, it is saying that it is greater than 0. My equation is greater than 0, so I'm working with the top part. And the top part is negative infinity to negative 5 over 4. Infinities are always round brackets. How do I decide if this is a round or square bracket? I look at the inequality. It's a round bracket. So it's a round bracket. Then I've got negative 1 till forever. So it's negative 1 to infinity. And again, round brackets. And that is my answer. Thank you for watching.